Hey guys, and welcome to game number 89 out of 100 of my Human vs. AI series, where I'm taking on the AI-powered Scrabblebot Best Bot in a 100-game match. Best Bot did clinch the series in game 88 and now has 51 wins, which of course is more than half of 100, the number of games we're playing. So the series is over, but we're still going to try to win as many of these games as possible. And hopefully I'll get an O so I can open with Pentomic in this game. That would certainly be helpful, but we will have to see. The bot, as it often does, is taking a while on its opening play. And the bot, after nearly two minutes, settles on trade four. So no O for Pentomic. Also an H, I'm realizing, would have given me Pitchman. So several options there. If I had gotten a tile, but I, of course, did not get any tiles. So how do I want to respond to this trade four? I guess I have a few different kinds of options. One option is to play long, probably Pitman for 26, saving a C. I think that's as many points as I'm going to be able to get. I don't see a way to play all three of my three pointers. And there's no good reason to play Mince instead, I don't think. It's two fewer points, and the C is just as good as PT. So Pitman is an option. If I wanted to play shorter, I guess Mike or Pick or something. The thing is, like, this isn't even that defensive because it takes so many hooks, either of these plays, right? Like, Pick takes a back E for Pice and A for Pika, E for Epic on the front. Like, it just takes so many hooks. It doesn't really make the bot's life that difficult. I think I'm more inclined to play long here. Because a trade four, I mean, that signals three fairly good tiles, but it definitely does not mean that the bot's going to, like, almost certainly have a bingo rack. Like, if it traded two or especially one, I'd be more inclined to play short to give it back fewer floaters. But I think... With a trade four, I'm okay with playing long and trying to rack up the points a little bit early on. So let's play Pitman. I guess I, guess I also play Pectin. Yeah, let's play Pectin. The M is, I think, a little bit more flexible than the C. So we'll do Pectin and see what happens. Okay, that worked out well. I drew the blank. I have a pretty cool word actually to this I. I have Lemnisci for 86, if that stays open. Plural of Lemniscus. So that would be... Pretty cool. Not every day you get to bingo to an I. And, ooh, do I have a triple triple? Almost cinnamil, C-I-N-N-A-M-Y-L. If I had an A instead of an E, my instinct tells me there's nothing. Like Klingman or something? Now, I'm thinking of Klingman as in Klingman's Dome in North Carolina in Tennessee, the tallest, I believe it's the tallest mountain in Tennessee, Klingman's Dome. But proper noun, not a valid word in Scrabble. Uh, let's see, is there anything else? Or maybe something starting with this E on a double-double? That would be more than Lemniscai. But I'm not seeing either at the moment. Yeah, I'm just going through the alphabet in my head here. But I am, I'm not finding anything at all through that N. Or really anything through that E. So, in the interest of time, let's go ahead and play Lemniscai for 86 and blow this board wide open now. So, alright, I pull an S, which is good. Probably not going to bingo here. It's a little bit too clunky, but there are floaters all over the place. I do not foresee this board getting shut down anytime soon. Probably going to be a shootout. And that's what's interesting sometimes, guys. Like, sometimes after two or three turns and the bot bingos again, you can just kind of know how the game is going to transpire. Like... Usually if you get two bingos going in opposite directions like this, you just have so many floaters that it's going to, like, I mean, this board is just not getting shut down. It might get exhausted at some point, but, like, it's not just going to get shut down. There is no way. Um, okay, so how do I want to respond to this bingo? Uh, what do I have through this Y? I mean, I don't want to just play Foy. H-I-U is kind of clunky. I just don't really have much else, I don't think. I could score with flush, but it keeps E-I-O, so not too keen on that. Maybe Fichu keeps E-O-S. I'd love to score more than 23, but it's a pretty good leave. I think that's probably better than flush, just E-O-S is so much better than E-O-I. How about through this N? Phone? E-I-U-S is not great. Like, it's, it's so important. Like, on these kind of boards, I feel like leave is even more important. When there's just so many options, like, you really don't want to get caught with a rack where you have, like, all these one-pointers that don't do anything or just too many vowels. Like, you really need to keep scoring. This is going to—this is shaping up to be a very high-scoring game. 
as opposed to a more strategical tactical game. And usually in those kind of games, it's better to err on the side of keeping a better leave within reason. Just because, like I said, the cost of having a turn where you have nothing to do and you have a terrible rack is so much higher than it would be on a closed board because your average score is much higher. So on average, you're losing a lot more points by having a bad rack. So yeah, I think Fichu is what I'm leaning towards now just to clean up the rack as well as possible. If FOU played for a decent score somewhere, I would gladly play that, but I'm not really seeing it. Yeah, anything through this G. I guess I could play Fugio. Keeps ESH. It's not terrible either, honestly, but Fichu is probably fine. Yeah, I think I'm leaning towards Fichu now. I'm just not seeing, like I said, anything through either of the tiles and the triple. I don't want to play flush and keep three vowels on this board. I really don't. So, all right, yeah, let's let's play Fichu. Hopefully I'm not missing anything. Oh, man. Well, sometimes if you're going to draw that, it doesn't even matter what you keep, unfortunately. Yeah, I drew uh, three, two more O's and another E. I guess Fugio would have worked out a little bit better, but... Wow, I definitely was not expecting to draw that many vowels. That is, uh, that is not good. I feel like I've just been having a lot of these, bot plays Zoo for 47, I've just been having a lot of these like nightmare draws lately where it's like I just pull tons of these duplicates out of the bag, it's crazy. But anyway, uh, I probably just play like Oleo for 8. I mean, I gotta get rid of two O's and an E. I don't know how else to do it. I could play Oleo for 4, but... Seems better to play on the bottom. I don't mind, at this score, I don't mind creating another line for sevens. And there's so many lines anyway, it's like another line doesn't really matter. Like I said, I'm not worried about this board getting shut down anytime soon. There's so many places to bingo. And I just don't know what else to really do here. I can't score. Yeah, I don't think there's anything through the G in Paragon or the, definitely not through the N. I don't think there's anything through the Y either. Yeah, I don't know. I think I gotta do this. Hmm. Hen house. There's no H. Unfortunately, the H in Fichu is not open. House men, the M is not open. So probably no bingos here. And the bot does bingo again with retrofit. So taking a 100 point lead, more than that even. I probably need to just play retrofits and hones and score. I mean, it's like 50 points. It's 48. And at this score, I, I don't think I can afford to pass up 48 points. I just don't have anything that scores even remotely close to that. I mean, something like this keeps a better leap, but I can't give up 27 points. I guess hay is a little bit more reasonable, but still, that leap is just not strong enough. I need to score here. So let's do that. Oh, man. Yeah, I just, wow. I feel like I can't catch a break lately with some of these draws. Just, I, I mean, especially the vowels. Like, I feel like lately I've just been, I've had so many racks with five vowels. It's just crazy. Sheesh. I mean, this is just awful. Wow. Like, what am I even going to do with this garbage? I have no idea. Yeah, I mean, there's just, I don't have, like, any words longer than three letters. I guess I can, like, guy, but that keeps E-E-U. Yeah, there's just, like, nothing here. Wow. I mean, I can play gay for 23, keeping E-E-I-T-U. I could try to play etwi somewhere, maybe. But we'll see what the bot does. He plays thrum. So it's up 100, exactly. Now, the one somewhat good news, or some piece of somewhat good news here, is that the pool is a little constant heavy. 25 constants, 14 vowels. So that bodes well for me in terms of hopefully drawing some consonants after I play off a few of these vowels. There are seven A's left, so that's quite something. See how many of those I get. Hopefully not many. But what am I even going to do here? I mean, I could play Gunite. I don't love blocking all those lines on the bottom, though. Especially the M is a good line for me. I'd really rather not take that away. I mean... I do have lines still. I have the N in Paragon. I have the, some of the floaters in Lemniscai, but I don't have as many lines as I did before just because the board is getting pretty exhausted. So 
I want to be a little bit mindful of that because I'm going to need at least another bingo and then probably some help after that still to win this game. Like I need to make sure the board stays open. I don't know if trading is a crazy idea here. I guess I could just play OG for 15. I kind of would rather keep the end open because the end goes well with my rack. Maybe Gree. 13 points. Is that even worth it over trading though? I don't know. Or G, 13. It's like everything just scores 13. It's so annoying. There's just nothing to do. Yeah, I mean, I, I just don't even know. Genie, that also still blocks the bottom. Keeps the U, which isn't great. I mean, G also keeps the U. Maybe I should just trade. Maybe Segway? Actually, how about Segway? Nine points. This at least keeps the best leave I can, probably. And it doesn't block anything, so... Yeah, probably Segway. I think I need to keep as much open as possible. And I really have to bingo ASAP, so I think sacrificing a couple points to maximize my bingo percentage to get back in the game is worth it. So yeah, let's do this. Uh, okay, untidier through the N. Not too optimistic about it staying open, but we'll see. If it doesn't stay open, then I am kind of out of luck, because there is not a whole lot of other stuff to do here. Nothing from the M through the L, almost Utilidor, but no. Untidier, of course, doesn't fit through the N on this guy. So yeah, if that gets blocked, I mean, I've got, like, Dewey for 13, and that's about it. That's the problem with this rack. It's like you're sort of just waiting and praying that it doesn't get blocked. But, I mean, I'm thinking at this score, it's pretty likely the bot is going to make an effort to block that, but I guess we will we will see. I mean, I know if I were the bot and I were up this much, I would certainly, despite the other lines being open, at this kind of lead, I would be willing to make a pretty big sacrifice to block that N, especially with the blank conceding two S's. I mean, obviously the bot could have one of those S's or the blank, hard to know, but we'll just wait and see what it does and see if our bingo stays open. Yeah, no big shocker there. The bot plays Inanity. Uh, I'm not sure what took so long there. It looks like a pretty straightforward play, if you ask me, for most racks. But in any case, not a whole lot here now. Bot didn't really open anything either. And, and yeah, I just can't really score. So I think Dewey, keeping EIRT, I just don't really know what else there is. It's interesting, like almost all of the vowels left, six of the nine vowels left are A's, which is pretty crazy. Only three A's so far played this game. All of them by the bot, interestingly. Yeah, I mean, I think just Dewey, right? Like, I don't know what else to really do. I need to get rid of a U and an I. Wouldn't mind getting rid of the D given the consonant shortage, so. All right, yeah, I just don't have any better ideas than, than Dewey. Hopefully I can hit something from the M next turn. Ugh. Yeah, definitely not a good time for the X. Just, uh, yeah, I mean, just after my opening bingo of this guy, I just never really could get anything going again this game. It's, I feel like that's been a recurring pattern. Like, I get a decent start and then just nothing. I probably, I wonder, there's only one O, unfortunately. I was thinking about fishing for Oryx. O-R-Y-X. Because that would be a lot. That would be, I mean, 20, 66... 85. The problem is that's not even enough. Like, I need Oryx and a bingo. So, I don't even know if it's worth fishing for. Especially with only one O left. I think at this point, I'm just kind of lost, honestly. Like, I'm down over 100. The bot's probably going to score a bit here. And, I mean, I have the M at the bottom, the L on the left. I'm just running out of space a bit to really do all that much. So, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I guess I could try to play off. The problem is, like, what am I going to do with those letters? I guess I could play Tinged, hoping for an O. It's only one O and one blank left. And again, the problem is, even if I hit it, I'm still going to need a bingo. And I'm just, the bot's going to block on the left. I'm just running out of time. So, I don't know. I don't see much of a path to victory here. And the bot plays Cade, so it probably has the last S as well, I would imagine. 
And yeah, I mean, I'm down 140 points. So like, e again, even Oryx being like 80, it's just not even going to be close to enough. So I think I just lose, but I'll play Ticks, I guess. It's it's just not worth it, I don't think, to fish for Oryx with only 1 0. So I think I'd rather do this. There's just also, like, if I fish for Oryx, I have no good way to score using my other tiles. That's also part of the problem. So. I think I'm going to do this, and then hopefully I can get something decent. All right, I got the blank. Unfortunately, I blocked Gravel through that E in with this guy. Yeah, I guess I did get both blanks this game. The bot got just kept getting, yeah, three three natural bingos for the bot. Just uh, very hard to come back from that. And I think here I'll probably be able to get one more bingo down at some point this game, but it's almost certainly going to be insufficient. Probably going to have to play something like a vlog just to get rid of consonants here. There's just no good way I don't see to score and also rid myself of some of these clunky tiles. There's veg, but it gets rid of my only vowel and blocks the L, so I'm not dying to do that. Yeah, I mean, there's nowhere for groveled or graveled or anything like that. Do I have anything on the bottom left? I mean, there's a drive that keeps VG, so I'm not really dying to do that. Do I have anything like ending with DE or something? I don't think so. Anything through the A and Mesially, maybe? Not that I see. I mean, I could play Glad. Keeps the V, which I'm not dying to do, especially with the VWW left. I definitely don't want to keep the V. So yeah, probably just vlog here and then try to at least bingo to cut spread. I don't know. I don't have much of a plan. And the bot just keeps incessantly scoring. This time it plays Kebab for 44. Again, I can't help but wonder what it kept, why it took like two minutes to play that. Maybe it kept like three A's. Well, it couldn't have kept that many A's or it plays kebab with an A. So, I don't know, the bot's taking a long time on what feels like obvious plays in most cases, but I guess we'll find out. Yeah, I think I'm going to just play Vlog. I really want to at least try to get one bingo down here. I'm obviously completely lost, regardless of what I do. Yeah, I could play Glad or Vlog, but with VWW, I think getting rid of the V is pretty important. So let's just do this. Okay, see, that's why I had to, because I got the other V, too. Am I even going to be able to bingo with this, actually? Miss Drove, almost? Not Maravetti? Not quite. Oh, interesting. So the bot didn't have the other S with Cades. Huh. That's a little surprising. I guess maybe it just didn't want me to hook the S with Cades. It's more defensive. That's probably why. It's a... Uh, a bit counterintuitive, I guess that makes sense. Do I have anything through that L? I feel like I must. Or through the U? The U's kind of tricky with the V. How do I not have a bingo with the rack this good? It feels like I have to. But maybe I somehow don't. I haven't, if it's there, I haven't seen it yet. Is there anything with an E? There's adverse evaders, but is there anything with an L? I don't think so. Oh, slavered, but that doesn't fit. You knew there was something there. There's no anagram for slavered, I don't think. I? Is there anything with an I? Rival plus an S? I don't think so. Bot plays Swaraj. So I think what I should probably do is play Vid, assuming I, and then I should hopefully be able to bingo with either Avid or through the L, and it might be tough for the bot, it's probably going to be tough for the bot to block both. Yeah, I should bingo out if I do this, I would imagine. The bot will score well with the J, but I can't really do much. Yeah, I don't think I'm missing the bingo here, if I'm not mistaken. And yeah, I don't imagine there is a way for the bot to stop me from bingoing, so... We'll probably see just like W-O on the bottom right when all is said and done. And I guess the bot actually did have a way to block. Dang, I didn't think about that. It can hook Vide. Wow, that's sneaky. And yeah, that stops both Avid and the L. And I'm going to assume I don't have a 9 through the W in the L, or else the bot would have not allowed that. Dang, yeah, I didn't think about that aspect of it. The bot could block there. That is very sneaky. Okay, well, I guess then I will just play Redo on the right and score if I can't bingo. Don't really see any better options. And then the bot goes out with Oda and wins 
478 to 310. Wow, I can't believe I only got 310 with both blanks. That was that was ugly. Sheesh, yeah, I mean, just absolutely nothing for me after my early bingo. Let's see what I might have missed. So the bot had seven consonants here. Yeah, a lot of options. I went with pectin. I guess incept is also there. That takes some easy extensions, though, so I'm fine with pectin. I think the M is a little bit easier to use than the C. It's just more flexible, makes more overlaps and stuff, so I'm fine with that. Lemniska was the best bingo by a mile, so that was a good find. And then, yeah, after this, I mean, I just had nothing. This turn was rough. I, I'm not surprised that flush ranks highest on equity, according to Moogles, just because Moogles seems to overvalue those three vowel leaves a lot. Like, the EIO is way worse than negative one and change, so that's definitely off. I think Fichu is fine. I mean... This seems seven points worse at least than EOS, especially, like I said, in a board where trying to keep a good and balanced leave to have good responses is important. So I'm fine with my decision. It's just really backfired after this horrible draw of EOO, EOON, I guess, out of the bag. Yeah, just dreadful. And I guess Olio was fine. I mean, this is pretty bad opening that spot. I think this is reasonable. I think I'm playing okay so far. And then the bot just keeps bingoing. Hones looks forced. And then how about here? I mean, oh, I forgot about honest. That's kind of sneaky. Yeah, tricky hook because the pronunciation changes from hones to honest, but always important to keep those kind of things in mind. That being said, is this really a good play? Keeping EEI and giving back an easy hotspot on the bottom? Probably not. Also blocks the M. I think Segway is fine, honestly. I mean, there's just, yeah, I saw these plays like OG and Togue. But I really like keeping that N open. The N works so much better with my Val Heavy leave than an E does. Okay, so this is why Quackle, or not Quackle, it's funny. I, I said Quackle because I saw the Q, and I was about to say the bot kept the Q, and I thought of Quackle. But no, best bot took so long to play Inanity because it kept the Q, and it could have also just played QI. And I wish it did because then I would have gotten untidier down. But yeah, it totally makes sense to do this. I mean, there's enough places to get rid of the Q with QI, and hopefully it can draw like Cot or... Uh, QI for more points on the next turn. See, Inanity totally makes sense to me here. And then, yeah, there just was nothing to do. Uh, I guess Tui... Honestly, no, it's not better, because I need to keep the M open. Erudite just plays way too many tiles, blocks too many lanes. Yeah, I mean, there's just nothing here. I think Dewey is, is fine. Where's Indite? Oh, that's cool. Several overlaps. But again, I think trying to play fewer tiles is good when you're down so much, because like I'm going to need two bingos to win. It takes a lot of time to get two bingos and a lot of tiles, so playing fewer to slow down the game is generally good. So yeah, the bot, interesting, uh, it makes sense. Heads up play by the bot here, Cades instead of Cade. It looks weird to play the S for only three points when you don't have another, but the idea is that there's another S unseen, and it's a lot easier for me to get a seven with an S there than it would be to get an eight specifically with the S in the third spot. It would also score a lot less, so definitely makes sense to play the S. Also just scores more points, gets rid of another consonant. Yeah, and here, I mean, there's just not much to do. Ticks, Dex, I feel like Ticks is fine to save the E. And then the bot, yeah, plays Kebab. It just kept scoring. And then, yeah, here, I mean, I'm lost. I thought about Vlad. Like I said, I really wanted to get rid of this V, so I played Vlog. I mean, I hate scoring only eight points. There's just so little to do, really. I hope I didn't miss a bingo with this. No, I didn't. And, yeah, I guess, I guess I really needed to hope to draw the E then, or else the bot would just be able to block both spots. Yeah, I forgot about Vibe, unfortunately, that it could block there. But I still think this is reasonable, because then at least I force it to block, and then I get the bottom right. So, um, oh, Fizz Ed. That's, uh, that's sneaky. I guess is that one point better in theory? Yeah, it's one point better, since it scores five less, but it gets rid of the P, which the bot would get six for. Uh, yeah, I mean, the bot, I guess, would still be better off probably going out and just playing... Joe. So yeah, Fizz Ed would have gotten me one more spread point in the end game, but uh, yeah, pretty moot at that point. Yeah, honestly, guys, I mean, I don't really feel badly about how I played. There were no clear mistakes. A couple of, you know, turns I could have gone with multiple things, like the opening play, I guess Fichu, but no clear mistakes. I mean, I just, you know, the bot bingo, even though I got both blanks, like I just completely got blown out of the water here. The bot just kept bingoing and I just could never get any traction like I said after I opened with a bingo and then you know on that wide open the board if you don't bingo it's just it's just not going to cut it so yeah that's what happens and the bot now climbs up to 52 wins to my 37 the bot now up 15 games in the series which is I am pretty confident it's biggest lead of the series so far so yeah things are getting a bit out of hand guys we uh, really need to 
get back on the winning side of things if we want to try to get uh, 45 wins. Uh, hopefully, at least we can get 40, but uh, my goal is still 45 at this point. I think it's still doable, but we got to win some games. So hopefully, game 90 will be better, and I very much look forward to seeing you all there. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Really, really appreciate your continued support despite this uh, fairly bad run of games that we're having lately but uh you know that's scrabble and like i said i uh, fingers crossed it will get better and we're going to keep playing as hard as we can and hope for the best and i will see you soon so thanks again guys uh, and have a good one bye bye